Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back. This is Force here with some more Friday Night Magic. And today we're going to be playing the Simic Synergy deck thanks to Legend VD. I'm really excited. I, I'm going to keep this hand too. Um, ooh, we're going to start off with a tap land. That way we can play the Elvish Visionary next turn with our Forest. And hopefully, if we draw into one more land within these next couple of draws, we can cultivate the turn after. Simic Synergy is a green and blue deck, hence the name Simic. It's just, it's, it, it, okay. <laughs> it's draw cards, uh, ramp, and beat down with monsters or a ton of tokens that you overwhelm your opponent with. That's basically the idea. Uh, so we did end up getting into our third land, so what that's going to mean is next turn we can cultivate. That's gonna put us at um, four, five, and then if we draw into another land, six the turn after. Oh my goodness gracious, that means we could Terra Stomper. Uh, we're going to be able to Arbor Colossus with just the... F this is just a glorious... Oh my... I can't even handle it. All right, so we're going to go Cultivate now. It's going to get us a extra land in play. So there's three, then four. And we'll get our one blue and a forest is enough. Um, and then we're going to hit Confirm. And so next turn, again, next turn we're going to be sitting at five. We'll save this guy for blockers. I still have no idea where my opponent is. Uh, okay, so... How's everyone doing this week? Uh, I'm doing well. If you watched my update video recently, you will have noticed that, uh, okay, he's gonna be going for some life gain here. Whenever he plays a basic land, he gets to gain two life. Um, it's been a crazy week, but I'm, I'm, it's Friday now. My office is uh, getting pretty close to fully set up, which means, uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be rocking here, the suburbs, very shortly. Now, actually, so I can go for the Arbor Colossus, but he's just got a bunch of chump blockers for it anyways. So what I'm considering is either fan... Well, if I can Phantasmal Dragon now, and then next turn I'll be at six and I can play the Terra Stomper. Or, yeah, let's just... I'm actually just going to play the Fan... I know I could ramp, I could do all sorts of things, but I'm just gonna play the Phantasmal Dragon right now. This is a 5-5 five, five flyer for four. Kind of insane, especially as an uncommon card, but the drawback here is that whenever it's targeted, it has to be sacrificed. So that means the opponent can target it with something, or if I, for some stupid reason, target it with something, I'd have to sacrifice it. What a cool drag uh, picture, too. Look at this. We've got these ruins here. It's a, it's a hot. You get people living here, and they're like, oh, no, there's a dragon coming up from the deep, and they got away. It's, it's a scary time. He's gonna be gaining so much life, but hopefully he can't deal with flyers. Um, and even if he can deal with flyers, we're gonna have Trample from the Terra Stomper, as well as the Palaka Worm. Also another, just uh, this, this entire game is filled with amazing artwork. Oh, the Rock's Faithmender. Okay, so Rock's Faithmender has him gaining double life. Whenever he gains life, he gains twice that much life instead. So now with Glazing, Gra uh, Grazing Gladeheart, when he plays the land, instead of gaining uh, two health, he'll be gaining four a turn. That's, that's pretty good. All right, so we could Terra Stomper right now, or I could go with another Phantasmal Dragon. I think I can actually Phantasmal Dragon and Cultivate, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Terra Stomper right now. This is gonna be an 8-8 Trample. Oh boy, he's gonna have a really hard time dealing with that, unless he's got uh, Exile or something right now. So we're gonna swing him in the air for the five. Unfortunately, most of this damage is gonna be offset by the Glade Heart uh, Faith Mender combo, plus, Obviously, his only life gain is not going to be coming from Glade Hearts. He likely has much more life gain in his deck. Floating about. Floating about in his deck, most likely. So there's a Cultivate there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see what he ends up getting. Gets a blue. Wow, he is at least four colors. He could be five colors. He could potentially be five colors. This doesn't guarantee that he's running red, but it's possible. It is possible. He has five freaking colors. The thing is, though, I just wonder, you know, did he build his deck with removal? Or was he running the game plan, well, I'm just going to gain a crap ton of life and play some big creatures. If he's not running removal, this Terror Stomper is going to be a headache and a half. It is going to be a headache and a half, to say the least. Okay, so I think what we should do right now, um, before anything else, I'm going to attack. Before I play anything else, do anything else, we're going to attack. Oh, the Undying... Our creature gets it. Oh, they yes, yeah, a smart move. But yeah, no, I have to sacrifice it before it gains undying. That's a smart move. He still has to deal with the 8-8 trample, though, so here it comes. Coming your way. Right in your face. Eight damage swinging at you. And it has trample, so even if you block it, it's not. Now he's gonna take the eight. He's gonna take the full eight, huh? Well, look at that. Okay, so I actually I'm gonna go with a pack leader right now. This is gonna let me start drawing cards in the future. 
So the pack leader is a 4-4. Four, four. And then whenever a creature with power 3 greater enters the battlefield under my control, I may draw a card. Now, as you can see, 5-5, five, 6-6, five, six, six, seven, seven. Lots of creatures with power 3 or greater, which means I'll be gaining... Uh, I will be drawing lots of cards, which I'm going to need to offset all this life gain that this guy has. The Glade Heart with the Cultivate, he gained so much life. I I've been doing damage to him, but he's still 21. It's insane. It is insane. I wonder if he's running mass removal. He might be. He might be. So I want to be careful about overextending, but I would like to go for these card draws too. Ooh, I could prey upon. Kill his double life gain. All right, what can I do right now? I could... All right, we've got four, five, six. If I do a Cultivate 2, we get seven. I could just Prey Upon, kill his Faith Mender, and play a Dragon. Or I could Cultivate and play a Dragon. I, I think I need to kill his Faith Mender, because him getting all that life is kind of ridiculous. Him, him continuously getting double life is a little bit ridiculous. So I think we have to Prey Upon. So we're going to use one of our mana for that. The question is, do I want to Cultivate as well? Or do I want a Phantasmal Dragon? I think I'll probably Phantasmal Dragon. But before anything else, uh, let's go ahead and just attack and see what happens here. He can kill this if I attack with it. It is entirely possible. He goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm not going to attack with it. Yeah, I don't want him to kill this because I want to be able to get that card draw. Okay. And then next what I will do is next I will play a Phantasmal Dragon. This is gonna get. This is gonna give me the card draw off of him. Boop. Card draw. Yes. Nice. We draw another land. This is gonna let me play my Black Worm next turn. And then what I will do is before the end of my turn, I'm gonna go with the Prey Upon. We're gonna kill his Faith Mender. We're gonna stop him from getting get, the double life gain is too much. I can't. I need to try to. I need to try to win. And if he keeps having double life gain, it's just no thank you. All right. So he plays Nelvish Visionary to start. Draws a card. Plays the Visionary, draws the card, plays another Grazing Glade Heart, and then plays a land, right? Yep. Okay, so he still gains the double life because he played. For, well, it would have been even worse, though. He would have gained eight life this turn because he would have gained four and four. So it's not like I didn't do nothing. <laughs> At least I got, I got something. I got some benefit from it. It's still a scary situation, though. Still a scary situation. Okay, so I will attack first. And then we will go Palaka Worm. Well, how about this, actually? Let me Palaka Worm pre-combat, because I'm going to attack with this guy as well. And if he wants to do a bunch of blocking to kill it, then he can get rid of some of his stuff. But then another uh, a problem I could run into, though, is I don't actually don't think I'm going to attack with him. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm not going to attack with him. All right, but we will go with this. I don't want to sacrifice him. I want to make sure I have him for the card draw, because it would, it, it would not be too bad of an idea for him to sacrifice these three right here to kill that so and, and if i were him i might make that trade so that my opponent didn't get the card draw uh, even though he loses the extra life from the glade heart he stops me from getting card draw which is pretty huge he's gonna take all that damage okay well at, at worst what he would have done is he would have chump locked with a one one so and then next um i am going to play the palaka worm now, yes, I could be playing into mass board clear, okay? But I'm going to get the card draw, I'm going to get the life gain, and I'm going to get the card draw off of the pack leader. Plus, I get card draw when he dies. So, yes, I could be playing into mass removal, but I still get benefits from it um, because it's a placa worm. So, for that reason, I'm okay with that with that process. And uh, Mad Antony has been replaced by the AI. That's what we call a scoop in Magic the Gathering terms, my friends. We're going to play the Crater Hoof Behemoth next turn, and we are going to roll over. I love playing. It's just so... Watch this. Okay, he comes into play. He's a 5-5 haste. Pumps in my creatures. Plus X, plus X, and trample. X is the number of creatures I control. So they're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 trample. <laughs> And you just attack with all of them. Let's see, he might have something. Who knows? It's entirely possible. He could have, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Removals or something. He could have. He could have. It doesn't freaking. It doesn't freaking matter. Who are we kidding? Hey, what? Is up with these hands? I, I, I swear to you, I get the worst hands sometimes. There are times where I get the worst hands. I don't even know about this one. 
The Chasm Skulker is nice, certainly. And I guess I have the pack leader to go into. I just really, really pray that I draw into some card draw, or some land ramp, or something. We've got Cultivates, we've got Think Twice, we've got those Elvish Visionaries, all that stuff's great. Chasm Skulker's kind of crazy. So it's a 1-1, one, one, and whenever I draw a card, we put another counter on it, and then when it dies, we get to put X 1-1s one, with Island Walk. <laughs> Can I just, for one second, can you look at my opponent's land right there? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That is an island. That makes me so very happy. All of my tokens will be unblockable by him because of his because of his island. And the problem is I'm not playing anything till turn three. That's a it's a major issue, and we haven't drawn any freaking lands either. So after turn three. I'm kind of just going to be sitting here, running off top deck. Okay, so now I've got to pray, basically, that he doesn't counter this. Here we go. Oh, no! Come on! You jerk! Ugh, what the frick, man. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if I waited a turn or not, and I have, I still, I've got no turn for, I've got no play. All right, so I guess I should have waited till he tapped out, huh? Probably and now this is uh, this is incredibly awful to top it all off He he has red so he I guarantee you he has uh, creature targeting He's gonna just blow up my phantasmal dragon with like a shock or something all right, Well, at least we drew into a fourth line at least we can play the phantasmal dragon Oh gosh now. Let's just hope that he doesn't have something to target it with That is our next hope. I Don't think it's gonna work out for us, but it's a hope he might just wait till I attack anyway, so even if he has something right now, he probably won't even use it. Yeah, he, he's probably just gonna use an instant and do it um, when I attack. Well, I guess that's good. Um, he's gonna let us play the pack later. All right, let's go ahead and uh, attack first with the Phantasmal Dragon. We can't even Vapor Snag it because we have to sacrifice it when we target it. He has got another counterspell, so the question is, do I want him to counterspell a pack leader, or do I want him to counterspell this? This card is amazing, but I can't even... I can't even do the devour. Because if I target this to devour it, I have to sacrifice it from the dragon's ability before the devour triggers. So... So, so I'm just gonna wait a second. He was replaced by an AI. So I'm just gonna play this without using Devour. He's gonna use Dissolve. Why was he replaced by an AI? Oh my God, are you for real, bro? Does he have like zero cards in his hand? Why was he? Re I don't even know. I don't even know. But we did get the uh, we did get the AI to, uh, to use his dissolve. Oh my fuck! With the Archaeomancers, bro. All right. Well, this is good because I can play the uh, pack leader, and he's tapped out, so he won't be able to counter it. So we're gonna play the pack leader, and then we can play Terrace. This is amazing. Look at this. Cannot be countered. That's right. Yes, he cannot be countered. And that is pretty amazing stuff. Um, okay, we're all done with our turn. What's happening? So the Terror Stopper can't be countered. Attack for five. So even though he's running, even though he's freaking got to use the same single Dissolve spell, going to be three three times running now, he won't be able to stop the Terror Stopper, which means it guaranteed lands, which means we guaranteed get a card draw for the Pack Leader, unless he kills it right now. So that is all well and good. All right, here it goes. Play that. Play the Terror Stomper. You can't counter it because it is a Terror Stomper, and we get to draw a cut off of a pack leader. Draw a cut. Oh, another pack leader. I like that a lot. I'm going to attack with just the 5-5, five five, not the 4-4, four four because he could block plus burn to kill this, which I don't want to happen. So we just attack him for five in the air. He is down to five life. He is going to think twice. Well, he's thinking once right now. He'll think twice at a later date. He is gonna think for the second time. This is the second line of thinking. Uh, we might just straight up win here. Unless uh, this bro has some removal or something. Um, we could go with the behemoth. The behem No, we can't even play the behemoth. So before I... 
I can play both of these. He's got a counter though, so I'm not likely to be able to play the pack leader. Wait, no I can't, I can't play both of these. What the F am I talking about? That's five, six, seven, eight. All right, well let's just try to play the, uh, the elemental. He's probably just gonna counter it. All right, let's it go through. All right, well we're gonna get the card draw of that, which makes me happy. Card draw of, oh my gosh, wow. All right, and let's move into combat phase now. And I am gonna attack with um, everything now. Cause he's at five life, so. He's gonna block, that goes through, that's the, that's the win. Oh, part of me really wants to keep this with the cultivate, the pack leader, the skulker, but you can't keep a hand with a single land. It's just not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. This is hilarious. All right, I'm just gonna keep this. If anything, I'd rather keep the hand that has like, I'd rather keep the hand that has more lands than not. And we're gonna have our draws, plus the additional draw off of the visionary, uh, which means we're likely to draw into things we can play with all of these lands that we have. So that, that's good, that makes me happy. There's something, for example. So we're gonna play the visionary right now. I could go with an early one of these, just to get that four damage swinging. Or, you know, we could just save it, though, for the card draw off of, um, and there's an Arbor Colossus. So I'll probably, mm, I don't know, I might cultivate next turn, I might Elemental, we'll have to see. I, he's got a chump blocker for it, so there's no sense. So basically, whenever this attacks or blocks, I've got to sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Uh, and then you can unearth it as well. But the real great thing from it is that you can get just so much card draw off of our, uh, our, our beast bros there. All right, so we're gonna get one of, uh, oops, one of these, one of these. All the lands, all the lands. The Arbor Colossus makes me happy. We save her for blockers. No sense in just throwing her into it. Save her to block the big boys. Cultivate, ooh, look at this. It's like a mirror match almost. I played Elvis Visionary, you played Elvis Visionary. I played Cultivate, and you played Cultivate. Except he's running four lands? Types, at least, or at least four. Phantasmal Dragon, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely, Phantasmal Dragon. He's got, um, the earlier you can play flying, the better, especially something as beastly as the Phantasmal Dragon. It's the big old five five, bro. Um, and we can still play Arbor Colossus next turn and while holding on to our Cultivate, we don't even need to Cultivate. We can just throw down that Arbor Colossus and say, what now? EMP, electromagnetic pulse. So yeah, he doesn't have, he has no response to the, this thing, oh my gosh. This thing, uh, I, <laughs> I swear to you. You gotta, when you're building your deck, you need something to deal with. Okay, there we go, he's got some, he's got reprisal. So he's got reprisal, my creature gets rid of it. It's not even the reprisal itself that kills it, it's the fact that it was targeted that the dragon dies. He's kind of an idiot, you know? On one hand, yeah, he's great. But on another hand, he's kind of an idiot. On another hand, that, that dragon is kind of an idiot. We're gonna play our Arbor Colossus right now. So it's a 6-6, six, six, and I am going to attack with a 1-1 one, one because he probably won't block it because he wants to save to block the Arbor Colossus. Cool thing about the Arbor Colossus is I can... Huh? Okay, so that means he has something else to deal with this. Okay. He might just have another reprisal. There's a very good chance I'm just dealing with a bunch of uh, removal. Treasure find into reprisal into kill the Arbor Colossus. There you go. All right. Oh, there it is. There it is, my friends. The removal is real. And he plays another Elvish Visionary. I need, uh, I'm uh, not good. I'm running on top deck mode right now. That's what's happening. We. Uh, that is absolutely not what I wanted to see. We are running on top deck mode. I am a little worried. Wait, what the, why didn't I? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who missed it, for some reason I chose to take a, only a single land with Cultivate and not two. What's the explanation? What's the strategy behind that? Nothing. Um, no, nothing short of sheer stupidity explains why that happened. Uh, I, 
cannot believe it. Are you for real, Dennis? Did you really just do that? I need a Palaka Worm. I need I need something. I need one of my big beastie boys. What you, what you, what you want? I need one of my boys to come through right now. Pretty desperately. Otherwise, it cannot be a land. That's not a land. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is, this is perfect. Pack leader. This is what we saved the Brackwater Elemental for. Into Brackwater Elemental. Gives me the card draw. And then we get to get him back again from an unearth, which gives me another card draw. All of this helping offset the stupidity. You know what's hilarious? Had I taken a second land with Cultivate, like I should have, I may have not drawn into this force because we would have had one less land of the deck. Which of course means that I could have drawn into something that's actually useful. There's a Grizzlebrand. Certainly could have used a uh, Arbor Colossus to trigger Monstrosity to kill that. But you know. <sighs> oh, there he is, the Arbor Colossus. Okay, I'm gonna wait one turn so I can guarantee kill this thing. Okay, I have to. I have to wait a turn to guarantee kill it. If I, because I, I, what's gonna happen is if I play this now, by itself, he will attack me. He's gonna, he's gonna pay seven life, draw seven cards until he draws the removal he needs to kill this. I can't have that happen. So, I need to, I need to be able to, uh, I need to be able to kill, kill this thing immediately. This thing is probably gonna be the reason I lose this game. Grizzlebrand is absurd. He's absolutely absurd. Is he really gonna take 14 cards? Is that what he's thinking? Okay, he drew seven now. He can't do any, why? Why would you discard all that? Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense because you have to discard anything over seven in Magic the Gathering, so. We'll, we'll, again, we'll be able to kill this right away, which is the great thing. Oh my God. Guys, we are so incredibly dead. <laughs> Baneslayer, Grizzlebrand. GG to me. All right, seven in the air. Uh, deal seven damage to me. He gains seven life because this has lifelink. Bada boom, bada bing. He's back up to 20. All right, so again, we can do this all. That's nice. The prey upon is really nice. We're going to play Arbor Colossus. And then we will trigger Monstrosity. Allowing us to kill a flyer. We're going to kill his seven, seven Grizzle Brand. He might draw again. It chooses not to. Draw a card, yes. Okay, more cards draw off of that. We've got the 9-9 with Reach, which can block that. We also have a Prey Upon, which I can use to kill this as long as he doesn't die. Um, I could Prey Upon this into that. So Prey Upon lets you have four, let, let, makes it so that you can have two creatures force fight. He grabs his Reprisal, fuck me. Is that really what he grabbed? Come on, man. So, what just happened for us? Well, he just got his reprisal, which means he can kill my Arbor Colossus now. So, that's great. Sure is. We're gonna get some card draw, though. It's still possible. We're gonna get some card draw, because we have the uh, Bra uh, Brackwater Elemental. So, as long as we draw into something with five or greater attack, I can force fight with the Bane Slayer and possibly win. So, there is that. To the battlefield, my copy another creature. Oh my god, dude. Second freaking Bane Slayer. Plays a wall. Okay, all right, here we go. I don't even know. This is like, I don't even know why I'm still playing. This is obviously impossible for me to do anything. Like, I'm not going to win this game. It is not going to happen. Going to play a Brackwater Elemental draw card. Uh, yes, indeed. I don't want to play it. Do I want to play Elvish Visionary? Sure. Draw a card off of the Visionary. Phantasmal Dragon. Draw a card off of the Phantasmal Dragon. So he doesn't kill me yet. He swings for 5-5, five, five. I can block one of them. No, he's gonna get Reprisal back. I need to kill this now. So we're gonna prey upon sacrificing this to kill the Charmbreaker Devils. That way he doesn't get Reprisal back. You can't do anything, your, your dude's dead. Oh, Cloud Shift! <laughs> oh man! 
That is unbelievable. Oh my god. That is unbelievable, dude. Alright, I can't attack. Because it makes no difference. He's got 04 walls. He's got his Bane Slayer. Charm Breaker gets him back. Cultivate. Okay, that's good. At least it's not a reprisal. So I might still live for the turn. Uh, there's a possibility that I'm not dead this turn. Fortunately, these guys have first strike, so... Even though I'm not dead this turn, I'm dead, uh... Wait, why couldn't I... Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. They have protection. That's right. They've got... Okay, well. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Friday Night Magic. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that last game... Holy... I got steamrolled. But we did some steamroll rolling of our own, so that's fine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Happy to be back in the swing of things. Stay tuned. More videos coming up. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you later.